1999. Driver, you are the wheel man. This game was heavily inspired by Hollywood movies and their car chases. You play as John Tanner, an undercover police officer trying to infiltrate a criminal organization to later find out about their plans to assassinate the president of the USA. You drive various cars around four different American cities, Los Angeles, New York, Miami, and San Francisco. Quite an impressive piece this for a 1999. 2000, Driver 2, Back on the Streets. This addition to the franchise adds a massively influential feature that went on to define the GTA games. Instead of just driving cars, you can now step outside them and explore the city on foot. Aside from that, you can now drive different types of vehicles like buses and such. The story also took place in four different cities, this time Rio de Janeiro, Chicago, Las Vegas and Havana. Two thousand four, Driver Three or Drive Three. -er. The transition to PlayStation Two brought a massive amount of improvements, both on the technical and the story side. John Tanner is on a huge case once again, this time in cities like Miami, Nice, and Istanbul. The major differences from the previous installments are gun combat, full on foot sections, and a completely revamped director mode. This time, the story takes us to a gang of criminals trying to sell a batch of stolen cars and your mission is to find out who's at the other end buying them. 2006. Driver. Parallel Lines. Now we're taking the GTA route very quickly. This installment is the first one to not feature John Tanner as the protagonist, but rather TK, a getaway driver who wants to take revenge against his former gang. This game also takes place in a single city only, New York, but at two different times, 1978 and 2006. Although there's a lot of shooting and Fast and Furious slash GTA action, they actually cut a lot of it out because it didn't work well with the audience. All back when studios actually listened to what their fans wanted. Two thousand seven, Driver seventy six. As the name of the game suggests, it takes place in 1976 and nowhere else than the great New York City. It's a direct prequel to Parallel Lines, with the story happening two years prior. Again, you don't play as John Tanner, but as Ray, the wheelman that falls in love with a girl, and the entire story is a huge mess of relationships, treachery, murdering, and action. Like a Hollywood action movie from the 80s. 2010, Driver Nemesis. Although this isn't a game, I decided to include it in the list as it's quite a big contribution to the Driver story. It's a novel written by Alex Sharp, and not only does it provide a good read about the infiltration of a criminal organization in New Orleans, it also provides lots of details about John Tanner's life before he enrolled in law enforcement. 2011, Driver San Francisco. Probably the most popular installment in this series takes place in, you guessed it, San Francisco. You return back to the body of much beloved John Tanner after the events of Driver 3. The only catch is that John is in a coma, and as he dreams of catching his nemesis, you play the dream. It's one of the most creative and amazing ideas for a game I've ever heard. You also have one superpower. You can teleport your consciousness into the body of any stranger driving a car as long as it's near enough. So the baddie is escaping, just teleport into a faster car and there you go, full speed. the hang of this. Never flagged down a taxi like this before. 2011, Driver, Renegade 3D. I didn't want to include any secondary small console games and I didn't until now. But allegedly, this one was so good you had to play it. Although the reviewers weren't nice to it at all. Our favorite John Tanner decides to leave the corrupt NYPD system and work as a security guard. When that fails, he kills a man with a crowbar, for a good reason of course, but he kills nevertheless. The New York senator makes a deal with him that John will walk free after doing a few jobs for him. You already know that goes down a deep, deep rabbit hole, don't you? 2014, Driver Speedboat Paradise. A free-to-play mobile game is the legacy we got. This game is exactly what you would expect it to be. A cheap money cow. It only gets its popularity from bearing the driver name. Unfortunately, this is the last driver game to date, and no others are in development. But who knows, maybe just like Test Drive, which I also made a video about, we'll get another sequel after 11 or 15 years. 
We'll wait. Right? 